Okay, so let's let's do the hardest possible example that we can find of a of a uh, linear equation to be solved. You won't have anything harder than this. Okay, this is as hard as they get at school level. Okay, so looking at this hideous equation, two bracket one minus three x all on five minus three x equals a half plus three bracket one plus x on five. You may be thinking, where on earth do I start? Okay, it's very similar to the other questions. We should try and get rid of the fractions to begin with. So let's try and get rid of these denominators of five, two, and five. Well, how do you get rid of those denominators? I think what we should begin with is we should multiply both sides by ten, because of course that's the lowest common multiple of two and five. Okay, and so when we do that, what we get is now 2 times 10, so we're going to have 20, 1 minus 3x, all on 5, minus 30x is going to be equal to 10 on 2 plus. 30, 1 plus x on 5. Now is this really any simpler? Actually it is a bit simpler because what we can do now is cancel the fractions. Okay, and then I promise you it'll look a lot easier. Now 20 divided by 5 is going to be equal to 4. So the left hand side becomes that. 10 on 2 is equal to 5. And 30 on 5 is equal to 6. So we get 6, 1 plus x. Okay, so it's starting to look better now because we've got rid of the fractions. So where do we go from here? Well, I think it's pretty clear that we need to expand the brackets. So let's, let's write that down. So we want to expand the brackets. Okay, so what we get on the left-hand side here is 4 minus 12x minus 30x is equal to 5 plus 6 plus 6x okay so we've got rid of the fractions we've got rid of the brackets and now we need to collect the like terms We need to collect the like terms to make it look even simpler. Okay, so what are the like terms? On this left hand side here, minus 12x and minus 30x will be minus 42x. So 4 minus 42x and of course 5 plus 6 will be 11 plus 6x. Okay, so we're getting very close. Now, because this is a hard question and we're getting quite good at doing um, algebra, linear equations, let's do two steps at once here. Let's move this 4 across to the other side by subtracting by 4. And let's move this plus 6x across to the other side by subtracting by 6x. So in this next step, what we're going to do is we're going to do minus 4 from both sides and we're going to minus 6x. Okay, so if you subtract 4, that cancels, and you subtract 6x, minus 42x minus 6x will be minus 48x. Now, 11 minus 4 will be 7, and 6x minus 6x will be 0. Okay, so now we're almost there. 
the only thing that we need to simplify is this term. Now the coefficient is minus 48, including the minus, so let's subtract, uh, let's divide both sides. Oh, I'll write this before I do it. Let's divide both sides by minus 48. Okay, and what we get is, so let's do that. Okay, so we've divided by minus 48. We designed it so that the minus 48s will cancel on the left-hand side. So we've just got x. So we've got 7 divided by minus 48. It doesn't matter where you put the minus in this case. So let's just put it out the front because it looks better. Okay, and we get the answer minus 7 on 48. Okay, now that was a difficult question and had an answer that was not particularly nice. I mean, nine, minus 748 is not a, an easy answer. It's not like 2. Um, but yeah, some questions are hard and they give you weird answers and you just need to have confidence to do all the steps that we've done so far. Okay.